One of the things I do is to set up a workspace so that I can find what I need quick and easy. Right click on the feature you want to add a shortcut to and click on create custom action. You can either put it in main scripts or in a sub menu. Now when you go up to scripts you'll find all the shortcuts you, that you saved as well as the subfolder if there's any. To further customize Dash Studio, press F3 and you're going to get a menu like this. If you click on custom, you'll see all the scripts that you added in that window there. You can right click on an item and you'll get another little menu which will allow you to add a keyboard shortcut or change the icon. I do change icon and then I copy the address that comes up and then I will go to my Windows Explorer and paste the address in there to find it quick and easy. And now you can drag all your icons that you want to create in there. Now you can add your own images to load into the studio. The next is the toolbars. If I go to Viewport Tools, this is how I set mine up to show that area at the top. Again, all you need to do is click on an item and drag it over to where you want it to be. You can build it up into little groups the way you want it. Right, the next one is to set keyboard shortcuts. Now I have several that I actually dragged out, so I have a plus for Morph Loader Pro. Uh, convert to Sub D is an 8 and add smoothing modifiers a 7. So again it's just change keyboard, press the sequence, click on it, press your key and that's it's as simple as that. So you can go through and set up your own keyboard commands. I added those two to my viewport since they're handy and I use them a lot. I added keyboard shortcuts to texture shaded and eye ray. I added C notification and I changed frame selection to shift and A to be the same as in Modo to so that you can use muscle memory. Texture shaded T, eye ray, I, and when you're done just, just click accept. Now the other thing I like to do is to set up my navigation the same as in Modo. I want to change orbit to Alt and left mouse button and pan will be Alt and middle mouse button. Because I want to use Alt and left mouse button for orbit I have to change subtractive painting and I change that to shift and alt instead of just alt. And then for orbit is alt and left mouse button. And that is then the same scheme as what I have in Modo so I don't have to remember a different navigation scheme.